I want to teach you how to become your own bank. Forget groveling to Wells Fargo when you need a home or car loan. Don't run to J.P. Morgan or Bank of America and get on bended knee to beg for a loan to buy a business. Take control of your life. It's time to start the bank of you. In this video, I will explain how to harness the power of life insurance to build real wealth, to build your own bank, so you can control your time and what you do with it. And at the end of the video, it will become clear to you, maybe for the first time, that a clear path exists for you to become rich. Now, when most people think about life insurance, they tend to primarily focus on the death benefit, the amount their beneficiaries will receive if they pass away while the policy is active. But there is another key component of life insurance that often goes overlooked, borrowing from the cash value of the policy. You borrow from yourself, not a bank. While life insurance may seem like just another expense at first glance, the fact is that it can be a powerful tool for building wealth over time. I mean, do you view investing in an IRA or 401k as an expense? Probably not. You view it as an investment for your future retirement. But what if I were to tell you that an IRA or a 401k is in fact an inferior investment to a life insurance policy. If you think about it, when you invest in an IRA or 401k, you are actually placing your money in shackles, in chains. You are tying it up until you are about 59 years old. Bye-bye money is what you are saying. It becomes worthless to you right now. A pet rock serves you better. Viewed in this light, a life insurance policy is far superior to an IRA or a 401k. With a life insurance policy, you can allow the interest of the policy accrue and compound, just like in an IRA or a 401k. But with a life insurance policy, the interest is guaranteed. Your IRA and 401k is not guaranteed. But even better, you can take out a loan against the life insurance policy to purchase an asset that gives you more cash flow, like a real estate purchase or buying a business. Try doing that with your IRA or 401k. Sure, you can withdraw from your IRA or 401k, but they hit you over the head with a penalty for doing that, not with life insurance. And this is how you can become your own bank, the bank of you. Instead of giving your money to someone else, like an IRA or 401k, you're literally just giving the money to yourself. You can use your policy to finance large purchases, such as an investment property or educational expenses, without dipping into your savings or other investments. In short, although life insurance may initially seem like just another expense, it is actually an incredibly valuable asset for supporting both short-term and long-term wealth building goals. So don't underestimate its power. In this video, I will help you unlock that power. Whole life or permanent life insurance policies enjoy what I like to call the big five, guaranteed returns, dividend accumulation, tax-free growth, policy loans, death benefit. I am going to explain the big five right now. First, what's up with guaranteed returns? Unlike more traditional investments like stocks or bonds, whole life insurance policies come with a contractually guaranteed returns each year, with the rate determined by the insurance provider, maybe around 3%. These guaranteed returns not only provide a stable source of income, but also give investors a greater sense of security and peace of mind. Additionally, many companies will provide things like cash bonuses or interest-free loans to their policyholders at various milestone points, such as when you have been a policyholder for a certain period of time, or when you've paid a certain amount in premiums. These additional perks can provide value beyond just the cost of the policy itself. I will explain all these perks in simple terms as we go along here. Next on the Big Five list. What's the deal with dividend accumulation? The cash value of your policy also has the ability to accumulate dividends over time as your policy matures. The dividend rate can be around 2 to 
These dividends can be put towards additional benefits, such as cash withdrawals or premium rebates that reduce the cost of your insurance. They can also be used to purchase more coverage or help fund other long-term goals through various investment vehicles, giving you complete control over the growth and management of your policy. This is how you become your own bank. More on this later. Next, the third of the big five is tax-free growth. Common investment in instruments are considered income, so they are taxed as you earn them. For example, if you buy and sell a stock or crypto token at a profit, you pay tax on that. One of the most important benefits of a whole life policy is that it allows you to accrue returns without paying tax on those earnings. This means that your money has even more opportunities to grow over time, making it an excellent investment vehicle for long-term planning. Even better than this is number four of the big five, policy loans. Once you've accumulated a considerable amount of cash value, you have several options, and options are nice to have. You can either surrender the policy to withdraw the full amount, or partially withdraw so you keep your life coverage and still enjoy some cash value. However, there's another option that most people forget about. They can borrow cash value instead. This way, you're still covered for the death benefit, and you can use the cash value to fund an important purchase. The best part about it is that the interest rates are typically much lower if you borrow from your policy versus borrowing from a bank. In other words, you become your own bank. Instead of groveling with a bank to get a car or home loan, you borrow from your life insurance policy. It is the bank of you. Finally, the last of the big five is the death benefit. It is the amount of money that the insurance company agrees to pay out to your loved ones after you pass away. This is what most people think of when they think of life insurance, but it is actually the last reason to buy life insurance. That said, the death benefit acts as a financial safety net in any unexpected tragedy or tragic event, providing much needed peace of mind for families and loved ones. It ensures the wealth that you've built will stay in the family. But like I said, the death benefit is the last reason to buy life insurance. The number one reason, you become your own bank, the bank of you. You see, the value of a whole life policy increases over time as the cash value of the policy grows. That said, this growth is not nearly fast enough to cover inflation to be considered a wealth building vehicle on its own. To maximize the effectiveness of a whole life insurance policy in building wealth, you need to understand how to use it as a financial tool. At its core, this type of policy is designed to offer stability and protection for your family. But it can also be an incredibly valuable asset for growing your overall net worth. Again, it is the bank of you. One of the most effective strategies for using a whole life insurance policy for wealth creation is to borrow against your policy and reinvest the funds in another revenue generating asset. You can borrow money from your policy, the bank of you, to buy an investment property, for example. This allows you to continuously build your nest egg over time. By continually drawing on the value of your insurance policy, you are much better off borrowing from the bank of you as opposed to borrowing from Wells Fargo or JP Morgan. When it comes to leveraging an investment opportunity, like a real estate deal, there are a lot of different options out there. The traditional route is to plead with the bank or other financial institution for a loan, but the superior option is to borrow against the cash value in your life insurance policy. This alternative has several great benefits, including a much lower interest rate than you'd find with most other lenders. In addition, borrowing against your policy requires no credit checks and allows you to access your money tax-free. Perhaps best of all, however, is the fact that there are no mandatory monthly payments. Instead, you only have to make payments on the amount that you use. This means you can keep your money invested in another asset as long as you like. Again, one of the best things about borrowing from your life insurance and not the bank is that when it comes to opportunity costs, it's virtually non-existent. With whole life insurance, not only do you have quick access to your cash value, either by surrendering the policy or borrowing against the cash value, but you can also use that money in any way you choose. Buy an investment property, buy a new car, buy a business. 
whatever it is, it's better than going to a bank. Whether it's putting your cash into another investment opportunity or simply reinvesting in yourself with a personal development course or business venture, your cash value is always there when you need it at one of the best rates in the market. So if flexibility and control over your finances are important to you, then whole life insurance may just be the perfect investment choice. After all, do you want to borrow from Wells Fargo or JP Morgan or the bank of you? Become your own bank. Listen, the entire point of this video is to arm you with an effective tactic for how to use your time and money more successfully to build wealth. But I truly believe if you want to earn true wealth in your life, you have to understand the underlying foundations of money. And to that end, I highly recommend watching my video on Morgan Housel's book, The Psychology of Money. You'll never view money the same way again.